Today I'm going to show you how to rip a video now disc. Why? Because I can. For this tutorial, I'm going to be ripping Josh Peck's Laugh Camp. This is going to be this is going to be fun. So first off, you're going to need a DVD drive, a standard PC disk drive. I suggest getting a laptop style drive or a drive with a spindle on it. You can try uh, having these uh, standard uh, PC drives. But, uh, good luck with that, because, uh, yeah, that can happen. Alright, so what you're gonna do now, put the disc inside your drive, and then we are gonna get some software set up. Alright, so you're gonna need to download Exact Audio Copy, and this, uh, GitHub Aru Video Now Disk Image Chef. Uh, once you download Disk Image Chef, extract it. Once you download Exact Audio Copy, just, uh, run the EXE. And then put, and then since you got your uh, video now disc into the drive, make sure Windows detects it as an audio CD, zero bytes free of zero bytes. Uh, very important, very important. So go ahead and uh, uh, open Exact Audio Copy. Now that you have this open, uh, you see all these tracks. Really, video now files are just audio files that have video encoding onto them. Um, so that's kind of why it kind of shows up like this. Now make sure. You select all the tracks and then click uh, copy selected tracks uncompressed. Very important. Do not do uh, compressed. Do uncompressed. And then basically what you're going to do is just put it to a folder and then just let it do its thing. All right. Now that that's done, seems to be good. Yep. Make sure there's no errors and you should be good to go. All right. So make sure, uh, make sure you, uh, make sure you go to your folder to where all the files are. Here's, here they are. As you can tell, they extract them into WAV files, which is really weird, but you know, that's how it is. Now what you're gonna do is go into your extracted disk image chef folder and just basically just drag and drop your wave onto the EXE. Just let it do its thing and then uh, should be good to go. Ugh, that looks so good, so good. Shut up. Now remember with some files, this may actually take a while. And also, if you're ripping full shows, you might have like three or four uh, wave files a an episode. That's just how it is. I don't I don't know anything about this, but uh, that's just how it was. And uh, that's, how you, that's it, that's how you rip them. Now I'm gonna show you uh, a way to process those files, at least scale them to acceptable levels or if you just want to upload those rips to YouTube uh, I want to show you the best way you can do it so for this one I suggest installing AviSynth Plus from the latest release on the github and then another github project oh it's already been downloaded but uh, AVSP mod this is so we can edit those files you also need FFmpeg to download it, go to download, select your operating system, check the builds, and install the latest build. Now this is for Windows, I'm not sure about Mac. So I suggest going to your C drive and creating a folder that's called FFmpeg. And then once you create your folder, go into the static, go to bin, and then just copy and paste all these MP uh, all these EXEs into the folder. Now that you got these uh, extracted, this part will only apply to Windows 10. I don't know a thing about Windows 7 or 8. But make sure you do Windows key X, System, System Info, Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables. Under System Variables, head to Path, Edit, and then click New, and then add a, a, a line to that points to your FFmpeg folder. I've already done it. I don't need to do it again. There you go. Okay, so once you get uh, AVSP mod open, uh, Go ahead and start your script, avi source, and then point it to uh, where your video track, where you, uh, where you, your extracted AVI is. Make sure the file name is exactly the same. Make sure the paths are wrong. Double check your spelling. A track equals zero, and then pixel type, pixel underscore type equals quotes RGB twenty four. And then there, and now it shows up. So what you're gonna do next is copy and paste uh, this text right here. It's in the description. Make sure you replace X. Replace X with a, a number in the hundreds. Don't make it like 
925. Like here, the original resolution of video now files are 144 by 80. So it's going to be a pretty high number. So a thousand percent would be 1400, 1440 by 800. Make sure this is an uh, this is an exact scale. So make sure this is no, this is uh, like 1000, 1100, 1200, 1300. Not like uh, 1350. Just make sure it's make sure it's all even. Uh, don't do like 1350 or else it'll look weird. See? Eh. Yeah, just just keep it just keep it as like 1300%. Or whatever whatever resolu resolution you're like scaling to. And then just put it to wherever you want. I want to do a 1800% scale. I think that's right. No, that's 1440p. All right, so I scaled it up 2700% for a 4K output. Now what you're going to do is do spline 64 resize uh, for me since I do 4k it's 2880 by 2160 and why I do this is for aspect ratio correction uh, video now uh, aspect ratio is a little weird uh, that like that but if you do uh, this, it'll uh, correct the aspect ratio. So if you want to calculate the aspect ratio for your given output resolution, I suggest go to calculateaspectratio.com, change the comic presets to standard monitor 4x3, and then just change the height to whatever. So if it's 480p, 640x480. If it's 720p, 960x720. If it's 1080p, that'd be 1440x1080. 1440p... 1920 by 1440 if it's a uh, 4k 2160 2880 and then so on so I forgot to mention uh, why the point resize instead of a simple spline 64 resize a point resize is essentially like a nearest neighbor scale so if it's at an even number it'll it'll look sharp video content uh, it may be not too great for a nearest neighbor scale, but it's so low resolution. If you just do a plain spline 64 resize, it'll look like this, and it looks really blurry. And uh, I got a file. I ripped um, a lot of the scare camp here. Uh, let me show you here. If you see here, it just looks kind of blurry and kind of ugly. By the way, this color banding is normal. That's just how it is. It looks blurry, but if I add you know, a nearest neighbor scale. It'll look pixelated, but in my opinion, it looks better. Just do, use what you prefer. My word of mouth, use what you prefer. Do you want a soft image? Do you want a little bit of soft image? Or just do you want a good, like, pixelated, blurry, pixelated image? It's gonna look like shit either way. So, I... Just, just pick your poison. I also forgot to mention, if you're doing any editing, I suggest... After you do your resize, your point resize, convert to YV12 interlaced false. This will base this will highly increase compatibility with uh, video editors. And then make sure you do prefetch 10, prefetch uh, just any number. Just make sure it's uh, make sure it's just normal. If it keeps crashing, just decrease it by one. And that's about it. So now make sure you save script as, and then point it to wherever you want to uh, scale it to. Well, to not scale it, to save it to. So now what I suggest you do is create a, a batch file so you can run an FFmpeg encoding script. So make sure it's FFmpeg I point, uh, point this to your uh, script. CV, I suggest doing libx264 preset ultra fast. CRF can be any number. CRF, a, hi a higher value means lower quality, but I suggest uh, 14 to 23. CA, sometimes uh, a lot of people suggest AAC. I go with PCM S16LE, and that's because I can get the best audio quality. But make sure if you're editing, if you're editing, make sure the output is uh, MOV because if you do MP4 it won't work make sure the outputs MOV I have it set to MKV because I don't I usually just upload the file straight to YouTube uh, and that's about it run the script and then you should be good to go and that's how you do it thanks for watching